After returning from cancellation, the second phase of Dragon Ball Kai would replace Toriko, airing the Majin Buu story arc from 2014 to 2015. Dragon Ball Kai's second run averaged a 5.8% rating share, down from the 9.4. Episode 106 is the highest rated episode of Dragon Ball Kai, the final chapters, garnering a 7.6% rating share. Episode 106 aired May 25th of 2014. And what's funny about this episode is that it coincides with the highest rated episode of Dragon Ball Z as well, episode 218 check that video out. Both episode 106 of Kai and 218 of Z are the highest rated episodes of their respective series if you bar phase one of Dragon Ball Kai. Episode 106 also adapted episodes 217 and 219 of Z. On the manga side, episode 106 adapted chapters 441 to 445 of the manga. The script for 106 was written by Katsuyuki Sumisawa, and Takao Koyama. Direction carried out by Terazaki Naohiro and editing done by Kenta Katase. Episode 106, Videl battered. Gohan's fury is at its limits. Spopovich is relentlessly battering the bejesus out of Videl and is getting Gohan more and more pissed off. Her dad's none the wiser meanwhile. Yamu gets Spopovich to win the match before Gohan could kill him. Goku goes to get Videl a Senzu, and Videl, while in the infirmary, wants Gohan to beat Spopovich. Mr. Satan shows up to the infirmary to check on his daughter and is perplexed with Spopovich's transformation. Once Gohan has successfully healed Videl, he begins his match with Kibito and transforms for him. And then he is stabbed by Spopovich and Yamu, and they take off. And then Goku and the others take off along with them. So I got one question for you. Why was episode 106 the most viewed episode of Dragon Ball Kai as far as the second phase of the series goes? At this point, the second run of Dragon Ball Kai was still brand new and likely still experiencing the initial ratings boosts that each new series tend to have. It was being highlighted in Saikyo Jump and Toriyama had a recent interview with Naho Oishi. It could be that the audience knew the Majin Buu story arc would finally kick into motion from this episode on. Maybe unfamiliar viewers were curious to see if Spopovich would kill Videl before Gohan could stop him. This is also the first episode that Gohan goes SS2 for the first time since his fight versus Cell. So the second phase of Dragon Ball Kai started on a high, but then it hits rock bottom only 9 episodes later. Episode 115 made history, being the first episode of Dragon Ball to fall to a 3 in the ratings. A 3.7 to be exact. This is unusually low, even for Dragon Ball Kai around this time. But once again, like with the lowest rated episodes of Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and the first one of Kai, this episode aired in August. What is with this? It must be the crazy amount of festivals and events during this time of the year along with the summer coming to a close. It's just that this month is very consistent with dropping a lot of Dragon Ball's lowest episode rating shares. Episode 115 aired August 3rd, 2014 and adapted chunks of chapter 458 and 459 which correlate to Dragon Ball Z episodes 230 and 231. The script was penned by Sumio Uetake and Hiroshi Toda. Kazuhito Kikuchi and Osamu Kasai are credited as the original Dragon Ball Z directors, and Kenta Katase and Kiminori Furuta are credited for editing and editing assistance respectively. Episode 115, The Countdown to Revival, Crush Bobbity's Ambitions. In this episode, Goku vs Majin Vegeta roars on as Gohan and the Kaioshin continue to thwart Bobbity. Gohan and Kaioshin drop in to find Majin Buu's shell and run into Bobby and Deborah and get locked into a standoff with the two. Gohan then prepares to attack, but Goku's damage from his battle pumped out so much energy that Majin Buu reached full power and is ready to hatch. And that's the shortest episode recap I've ever had to do. So I got a question for you. Why was episode 115 the least viewed episode of Dragon Ball Kai? 
I ran through most of this during the episode recap, but the long-held tradition of drastic rating drops in August continued with episode 115. It makes no sense otherwise. This episode showcases Goku vs Vegeta Part 2, and Majin Buu's seal is broken in the very next episode. The story is really hot at this point. The ratings prove this because the episodes before 115 hover around a 6, and after the 3.7 in this episode, the ratings quickly recover and hang around a 5 for the next few episodes. So it's much easier to just put this episode down as an oddity. It's also funny to think that fans probably could have been more concerned with the giveaway that Fuji TV was doing during the next episode preview. But it is quite odd that this episode of all episodes just happened to drop to a 3.7. But with part 2 of Dragon Ball Kai over with, only a week after Dragon Ball Kai ended, Dragon Ball Super would premiere. Likewise, as my analysis of Dragon Ball Kai ratings come to a close, stay tuned for my analysis on the highest and lowest episode rating shares for Dragon Ball Super. See y'all there.